So you want grain? We can get pre-made grain effects or generate procedural ones. Let's make a procedural film grain effect. I'll use an image. If the image is large, I like to use a scale node set to render size to make the output smaller, which also makes the compositor faster. Now we need some noise. Go to the texture node editor, make sure it's set to brush. Why brush? Who knows? Now add a new texture. I'll call it film grain and click use nodes. No time for checkers. Delete it. Now add clouds and connect the clouds to the output. Set the scale to something small like 0.01. Back to the compositor, add a texture node and select the texture we just made. Add a mix node, set it to overlay. Plug our image into the top image slot and the film grain texture into the bottom slot. I'll increase the X and Y scale to make the grain smaller and play with the overlay factor to make the grain more subtle. Hey, now that looks like grain. Oh, you want the grain to change on every frame for a movie? No problem. Set a keyframe on the texture node's offset value, then move to the last frame in the timeline. Since my last frame is 250, I'll change the offset value to 250 and set a keyframe. Now that's some nice grain.